In Taiwan, Taipei's proximity to nature ensures that adventure is never far away. In New Taipei City's Shengkang District, beyond the particular lure of its famous stinky tofu and the charm of its historic old streets, lies the hidden gem of Paoziluan Waterfall. Getting to Paoziluan Waterfall from Taipei can be a bit tricky. Here's a tip for drivers. Don't set your GPS for Paoziluan Waterfall unless you're up for a big adventure to nowhere. Your real target should be the CPC Zhengyang gas station. From there, take a right onto Paoziluan Industrial Road and just follow the clear sign straight to the waterfall. I decided to take a bus to Shengkang Old Street to soak up the small town's charm, and then I enjoyed a 1.5 kilometer walk to the trailhead. Oh. Well, here we are at the trailhead of Paoci One Waterfall. It might be hard to tell. It almost kind of looks like a secret path. However, be on the lookout for this electrical pole that says the number 44 on it. That's how you know you're there. But why is there no clear signage? Well, interestingly, the path is privately owned. However, the owner was very generous and opened it up to the public to enjoy. So let's go enjoy it. Embarking on this trail, we're immediately enveloped by vibrant greenery. It's a refreshing break from the rigorous climbs I've encountered on other hikes. Wow, these steps are so cute. It looks like they took a big leaf and then imprinted it on these stones. Wow, I really like them. It's a very pretty path. Echoing the leaf patterns of the surrounding ferns, a testament to the area's natural beauty. There is an insect here that seems to have shed from its old skin. Kind of looks like an illusion that the bottom one here is a shadow, and then up here is a real one. Another creature that I have found, so much here. I want to show there's a spider. <laughs> if you are scared of spiders, please skip two minutes. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but yes, I, I really love looking for little bugs and creatures and critters in like little plants. One common insect that you'll find in Taiwan are golden orb weaver spiders, like this one right here, which is venomous, just not enough to harm humans, unless you are allergic, so don't approach it. Just admire it from afar, like I do. <laughs> okay, there you go. When I first came to Taiwan, I rarely wore long sleeves and long pants when hiking because it was just way too hot and humid. And I never really understood how people were able to wear all these clothes in such weather. However, now that I've lived here long enough and realized that there are just so many bugs and mosquitoes, I, I just deal with the sweat and humidity and wear it to protect myself from the bugs. <laughs> I think that's the sound of the waterfall after about a five minute walk. <laughs> the peaceful sounds of a nearby stream, along with sporadic glimpses of butterflies, set a serene stage for our adventure. Within just a few minutes of walking, you'll find yourself deeply immersed in the jungle's narrative. It's very pretty, very picturesque. Almost looks like a fairy tale movie. Within a mere 15 minute walk, the Paoziluan waterfall unveils itself. Wow. I don't think I've ever stood so close to the waterfall before. Wow. 
We're here at the foot of Palatillon Waterfall. And as you can see, the water around the falls is very shallow, very gentle. And there's even a wooden ladder where people can go up to get a very up close natural spa experience here in nature. Actually, yeah, that's quite common as there are changing rooms literally just right next to the waterfalls, making it easy for you to rinse off, change and enjoy all that the waterfall has to offer. <laughs> the water conditions are very safe, very stable, and it's a common sight, especially in the summer when it's super hot, super humid for people of all ages, kids, adults, anyone, to come and splash around to cool down from all of that heat. A gentle yet awe-inspiring cascade known locally as Four Dragons Waterfall. While not every trip guarantees a glimpse of all four dragons cascading simultaneously, the ever-present lush greenery offers a captivating backdrop. The journey to Paltziluan Waterfall is brief, yet nearby lies the 1.3 kilometer long Paltziluan Ancient Trail, Heading back to the industrial road and following the signs for Paltziluan Ancient Trail, you'll easily find the trailhead. Nice. We are here. Okay. Oh. When I first came to Taiwan, I thought these were coconut trees, but they're actually areca trees, otherwise known as betel nut trees. They are very similar, especially the leaves. However, something that is notably different are the trunks of the trees. These ones are a lot thinner than coconut trees. I feel like I just entered some tropical paradise. Very like, I don't know what that dance is, but it makes me feel like I'm in some tropical place. <laughs> Look at it. No! <laughs> No, don't do it. <laughs> Cannot. I'm so scared of butterflies. They're pretty, but from afar, we're going, we're going, we're going. <laughs> this stretch of the trail exudes a traditional Taiwanese rural vibe. Though a dirt path, it's quite flat and takes only about 30 minutes to complete. And when you get closer to the end point, you'll come across these stone houses. Aside from Orchid Island, I haven't seen stone houses this close to Taipei's urban area. It's likely a farmhouse from the agricultural era. Nonetheless, it's quite interesting to have a glimpse of Taiwan's past. As the trail ascends, it passes through an entire hillside of vegetable gardens before reaching its end. Here, a wooden pavilion offers a broad view that encompasses Taipei City, with Taipei 101 peeking out from behind the mountains in the distance. Ah, we made it to the end of yet another hidden gem, just a stone's throw away from the hustle and bustle of Taipei. It's spots like these that urge us to hit the pause button, soak in the tranquility amongst our chaotic schedules, and hold on to such peaceful interludes. So until our next excursion, stay curious, keep exploring, and remember, some of the most refreshing spots are hidden just a whisper away from the city's roar. Paltzi Luan Waterfall Trail. Its gentle slope and scarce steps, coupled with the short distance, make it an ideal outing for the whole family. You don't need specialized hiking gear to reach this natural spa. Yet, remember to tread carefully as the mountain's frequent rains can make the path slippery. So here's to more trails, more discoveries, and the endless stories that the mountains of Taiwan hold. Until our next escape, keep exploring and appreciating these moments of freedom and connection with nature. Peace out.